you come over this side, maybe this is a good place to start. Could you see where the car the fill the fill as well? Then I've got to rechange change that. Well, welcome to a new Harry's Garage video, and this time I'm down at Sam's at Prestige Refinishing, where the little Zagato is having the bodywork done. Now, this is a surprise visit. You, hopefully, you've seen part five already when the car came down here to Sam, and the, when we uh, finished that video off, I said, oh, I'll come down in three weeks, strip the paint off, and I'll come and have a look. Well, it didn't quite work out like that because after a, a week or so of being here, I got a call um, from Dan White's because Sam had been in touch and said he was shocked what they had discovered as they started the take paint off and it's so bad, I needed to come back to have a look at this car. Um, it's had some bodywork, I can't call it surgery, we can only call it butchery, underneath the paint and the filler and uh, we have to decide what we do. So that's why I'm here, just to see what on earth has gone on with the body on the little Zagato in a previous life. Sam, go on, Hi. good to see you Hi. again. And here is the patient. And um, well, I just, just walk in, I cannot believe what's been going on. And you probably couldn't, as you've taken more and more off work. And it just takes some time to get that filler out. Unbelievable. So you've left a little bit of filler. Yeah, this is that just line, we mentioned that depth before about the rear wing, God. yeah, and already now that's got closer purely because of the amount of filler they took off, and you can see where they've covered the whole of that it line is, here, which is. wasn't even seen, which was part of the car. Yeah, we've actually got the original swage line still in the car, but that was completely filled yeah. over. So you think this is, this is the original metal here then? Yeah, we should you have see. a swage line sort of going around the side of the course panel, but obviously that wasn't um, apparent until we took the filler out. And you've got a little, you've got a swage line just yep. coming in there. So that's what you want to work to. That's, that's that it. line that's the down one. there. Yeah, that's a lovely line. Well, that, 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 one's, that one's actually uh, original this side. Um, right. And that, that's what we'll work to. It, okay. So that is original metal, just yeah. to get my head around what's yeah. going on here. This, this has all been uh, cut out and, uh, well, it's pretty gosh. horrific. Good God. And yeah, that's the thickness of filler you were taking off, which yep. is just ridiculous. And the whole actual arch was completely made of filler. So that was right half down. inch thick. Have you seen this before, this amount of filler? Oh, I've never seen that amount of filler in, in anything actually. In how many years have <laughs> been doing this? 20 years. 20 years, and, yeah. and specialist Italian stuff as well. So if you're gonna find it, it would be on yeah. this sort of stuff. Yeah. And see the roof here where they've put a piece in. Yes, and like I Sam saw said, that. Is that. The heat generated then of course causes the actual roof to fuck the back of the roof. Oh. It's like that. Was it that much? Yeah, that was that much with that. Yeah, they'd filled it from here and it, this was standing up half inch as well off the back. Good so yeah. So the roof's I mean, been off at some stage uh, because we can see where it's been unpicked. Uh, the roof has been off? It's been off at some stage. I'm not sure why yet. Uh, we've got some... That's been welded, so that's a different roof? Possibly, yeah. Unless they've unpicked this one for that reason and then they put it back on, but we, we can't tell at the moment. I've never seen a patchwork of metal like this. I mean, what on earth is that overlaid? And I mean, we, and we haven't quite got, got the rest right, of it off yet. Right. We had to have a little break. How uh, much dust did we generate then? It was uh, seen from bag London. Bagfuls and bagfuls in the yeah. in the hoovers. Oh yeah, yeah oh, they're was, going. Yeah. Oh, yes. But even this little lip. Yeah, well, this, this was completely filled. Yeah, so oh, from yeah. there to there. It's got a lovely little lip. Yeah. That's that's invisible. This was sort of an inch thick of filler, right down to the edges. God. I mean, the saving grace is not too much rust in there at the moment. No, so. no rust. <laughs> so, uh, it's just misshapen body. Yeah. Yeah, no, there is no rust to be seen, isn't there? But I mean, you know, Gordon, you've had a go at this already, but I just can't get over that you think that's the end of the patch there, but no, there's another, another patch like this going in. And they're just sort of just kept introducing things. And like as you said, you know, the way it pulls that panel, look, the yeah. patch will pull so it all in and that's bowing out. It's just... It's the heat, isn't yeah, it, of the welding they've done. Constantly, it's just let it go. I mean, the top of the, the original wings actually don't look too bad. No, there is shape they're, they're, there, they're, they? they weren't that full of filler, so they're actually pretty good. So we have got something 
uh, that we can work with. Yeah, and the other strange thing that, as you say, there's no rust around the window, really, is it? I presume that's the original art. Mm, yeah, there was a little bit up here that okay. we've ground out, but right. actually we've got enough uh, on there to, to work with, that's fine. Uh, we, we'll check the scuttle panel um, yes. next, but that doesn't look that, that bad either, so it looks nice. Like it doesn't look too bad at all. Just for my sake, which is original then? This this bit here, do we think that's original? I think, metal? yeah, the top part of the wings, and I think this part is uh, is original. Yeah. Um, and we've got the front round the, round the headlights, that's probably original. Uh, but obviously this this section here, and I would imagine the lower part of the wings uh, have been replaced. And there's something weird going on here. Yeah, well. and it's, it's obviously butchery. rusted down the back of the, uh, the wing, and they've and cut that section out and put another piece in. But obviously not primed it before they welded it on because the rust is actually uh, coming through from the inside out. Yeah. Just as so you can see there and there. Yes. Oh, that's underneath yes. that rust is... That would have come from inside out, yeah. Where they probably welded this on. No weld through primer underneath. And then the uh, the moisture's just attacked it straight away. Good God. Yeah, it's not pretty, is it? But no, I that's why I think this, this uh, window recess is uh, was the wrong shape because obviously this section here has been cut out uh, and see, replaced. This is all wrong along this yeah, edge. Yeah, so they've actually got that wrong. So we'll, have to, we'll measure that on the window rubber and we'll get that right. and make sure that's right. God. If, if you can hear uh, on the microphone bikes or something, there's, um, we're quite close to Brands Hatch here, aren't we? We are so indeed. You, yeah, it's always a nice soundtrack uh, when you visit Sam because when there's a track day on, it all filters into the workshop. But uh, yeah. I sort of like this side better, even though there's a whole big hole missing down there. But uh, well, we always said that about this side, didn't we? It actually looked better. Than we thought it would be better. It's still bizarre. I mean, if they've overlapped it, haven't they? They've even like yeah. without even oh, going underneath it, stuff has got over oh, the top. Because that's that's the nice original panel. And this is proud. So all you can do is it all it always goes. Yeah. And there's quite a ridge down to that, isn't there? Still over the overlapped it. Yeah. Yeah, how many panels does it take? And this is the thing, isn't it, with Zagato? There are no replacement panels. There's nothing. No. Absolutely nothing. So you're always working to a yeah. metal shop. Yeah. You, Sam, you fabricate panels here. Yeah, yeah, we do. We we'll make everything uh, for, for this. But it's what, yeah, how we treat this thing. Because from my point of view, I was rebuilding this car to do rallies and muck about. It is not for showing and Concord to make the best Zagata out there, because this isn't a starting point. Even before we touched it, I knew that. So it's purely for driver fun. And I want it to hold together. I want it to be solid, so it's structurally sound. Um, but from your you know, point of view, there's a pride in workmanship. You want it to look right, don't you? When it's yeah, we obviously finished. we obviously don't want to put loads and loads of filler back in it. So we'll uh, we'll address the, the steel work on this. Uh, I'll pop down and see. Uh, we've got an original one there, and we we can look yeah. at to work from. Yeah, so we're going to be using that. And then we'll, uh, we'll try and address this metalwork and go from there, really. Before we discuss budgets or anything, if I hadn't said, if you wanted to um, get this one right. Are you, I'm intrigued what you would do. How you, how you, are you saying you're just going to chop the whole wing out and start again, or are you going to um, thinking? It it all depends on what what the customer wants. You know, if we were right. looking at this from something else, it, or we would cut that off and then actually rework that wing mm -hmm. and do it correctly. Yes, yeah, so you wouldn't have four panels or five panels put no. together. You cut that piece out and make something out of one piece. You actually make it fabricate yeah. that shape. Yeah, roll up another one. Yeah. Has this one got a lip that has just a... Mm, not as pronounced as the other one though, is no, it? No, I think they've welded this part in and then they've hammered this bit out yeah. afterwards for some reason. Obviously, I think Gordon said that it might foul the, uh, the front tyres. Yeah, it did a bit. Yeah, and that's why that's been rolled underneath. Yeah, yeah, yeah it just, Is it all four corners we're looking at, isn't it? It's think, four, yeah, yeah. All four, all four, four, four corners, corners and a rear balance. And we looked at the doors and, and the, the doors weren't that bad actually. The doors I, are okay, they're not too I bad. I can't get over how good the doors And then we've got the roof as well, haven't we? Yeah, we've got a bit of salt out on the roof. The roof's not too bad. No. Uh, you can we, bring we that can dress down. that back out. Yeah. Actually get some yeah. shape back in that roof. Yeah. And, and if that metal's thick enough, 
uh, we can go again with that. Yeah. We took a bit of lead out on the uh, on the edges on the top of the roof here and there to see what we were at, which oh, what that's covering up. That's okay. probably some rust holes that they've uh, holes, they've yeah. covered. Uh, we've got a little bit here as well, so we'll we'll remove that and then we'll um, we'll address that afterwards. Well, as we know, we've we've got very solid floors in here, haven't we, Gordon? The floor is fantastic. Base. Yeah, it's Solid brilliant right underneath. Engine, all good. We all knew the top was going to be the tricky yeah. one. So this this wing, Sam, that is you couldn't even go over that, could you? You can't really. You're going to have no, to do we're some fabrication. Yeah, we are. Yeah, that, there's no way we can we can do this sort of stuff again. That's that's terrible. Yeah. Um, so we'll 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 work with that, and then we'll see what we've got. We'll hammer it out and see if we can get. A, some sort of shape back into it and then we'll address uh, the steel work. Yeah. I, I think this one we have to do because if we know this shape is wrong anyway and the window is dropping out, this one reshape, I, yep. I think that's that's the wing we have to do it on that one. Yeah. The fronts, I'm almost tempted to leave. The weirdness is the solid bit. This, this bit I hate. No, we'll have to cut this one out. Yeah, we so can't paint over this because no. otherwise this rust will be straight okay. back through within okay. weeks. So we'll do that bit. Yep. This has some shape to it. Yep. Um, this one's actually not too bad. If, yeah. I mean, if you could dress this this part of the panel out. Yes. Uh, then really, this one's pretty solid. And it's I mean, it's not too bad. No. For what and, and rallies in the chance yep. of a front end knock are reasonably high, so I would say that one is okay. So re replace, keep. Yep. So we go around another corner. See what front pallets were all all cool on all the front. It's all good. This one is that salvageable to a standard or? Yeah, I mean let's let's sort of hammer these out first, and then maybe we'll come back and have another look and see where. Uh, how far we've got these out because this is sort of in by this sort of half inch here. This is very ugly, isn't it? This yeah. Is like there's a real ridge there, you can't really pick it up on camera, but not good. As you say, it's solid. This is ugly, though, isn't it? This it is, is ugly, yeah. And I, you know, is that line going to come out? It's, it, the, the, the problem with this sort of stuff is, is if that's not been welded fully, yeah. then you get slight pinholes in the welds. Yes. And then yes. the water gets in them. I will blow the. Uh, paper, yeah. Unfortunately. I'm trying to think. That is inside. That isn't. Sh no, that isn't exposed to the wheel arch. It's from inside yeah. the engine compartment. So we're. Most of that will be intact. You're just going to have a yeah, pull back yeah. on that one. And then we've got to this one. I mean, I'd like. But because you've actually got that swage line to work to, there is possibly Yeah, I think this one's one one salvageable. Um, we might have to, obviously we're gonna cut this wheel arch out. This lot down here, this has got to go. That's horrific. So we're we're replacing really from yeah. there. Yeah, we to, are. Yeah. To create that, and that's the rear balance. Once we remove this, and this paint, we'll have a look under here, because obviously yeah. it's had some pretty horrific uh, oh, bits and pieces welded in. Like even they even filled over holes in the quarter panel, yeah. and then ground the welds off. So we'll we'll remove this, and then we'll have a look under, look under there as well. Yeah, uh, and address that. So is that rust on yeah, the rust. coming from the back? Yeah, that, well, that's that's no, it's probably even from the front, right. from the outside. But it's pitted right through, and whenever they painted it, they haven't, uh, they didn't clean that out. Are you going to put um, the aerial back in it? Uh, no, I don't have to. No, we will cut that out. Cover that. Uh, we'll this cover is, that this up. It's a danger zone, and actually, yeah, you can put it on the dash. Yeah. So yeah, I've got take that, that out of the equation. Back. Okay. Yeah, then fill that up. You had a steel rule, didn't you? Here. I did. Yeah. Let's have a quick look. Because you, that line wasn't visible. Wasn't That's right. It? Yeah. No, this one wasn't. It was. They had actually filled over that. They put that much filler in to get rid of that swage line, which is just weird. Mm. It was, it was, it was, it was that point there as well. That's how much filler that was in it. It's going to be a lot lighter, Gordon. Isn't yeah, it? I reckon we've taken about engine. probably taken twenty kilos. 15 twenty, kilos fifteen, out. twenty. twenty. The roof, the floors, the floors you took off, the three floors. You know, you're going to be pushing. Yeah, there might be. Yeah, well, you're going to fifty pounds that lighter. Unreal, isn't it? I mean, we filled the Hoover up three times. 
Yeah, that's the hoover just, down there, isn't yeah. it? There we are. Three three hoovers worth. Good God. Can you make any sense why there's a little bit of metal in between two? Uh, I would imagine that is they've whoever have done that has made this panel, that panel, and then actually when they welded it on, the other part it didn't, didn't actually move. fit properly, it didn't fit. and they it was put out. Out. It was an inch out. Yeah. That is nuts. And I thought, oh well, no one will notice. <laughs> I've got 25 kilos of filler over it. No one will find out. Jesus. Horrendous. That's what they've done. They'd fill that right over there. So that's it's got three quarters of an inch. And bear in mind, this was out here as well. So yeah. if we actually gone from that, at some places it was an inch thick. Inch thick. Yeah, inch thick. And then gone straight down from top to bottom. It's going to be a different car, but um, yeah, there's a lot of effort to get there. Uh, the roof uh, here, yes. where they put some wells up the seams, we need to dig these out, and actually we might have to re well lead load this, right, just down the edges. Uh, as I think also that the the, the fiberglass tailgate is the least of our worries. I would suggest, you yeah. Know, um, when the amount of metal work and we're going to be building in, it's it's for the type of car. I'm not going to search out another metal one. I think we'll just make that one fit. Uh, we'll probably reinforce that one as well. Yeah, it's not um, it's not really that thick. Right, so we can just add that, that strength on the inside. Looking at what what's there. My goodness, isn't it? Italian cars. Why do we do it, eh? Why don't we do nice Saabs or something like that with proper steel? We're sort of the Zagato side again. It yeah. It's a bespoke thing, isn't it? Yeah, but weren't built to last, you know. They weren't they were built to do a job. Yeah, and it looks, hey, so I was looking at the subframe this morning and it's all complete, the carbs, yeah. there's that promise yeah. of putting it into this. Yeah. Um, Wouldn't do it justice if it didn't do it No, but I, yeah, I take my hat off. I, I love that you are able to form rear wings and actually have the expertise to do it and I, I'm so oh, the, the grinding marks on the on the panel they've not even uh, well, I can't work out DA'd off the the grinding marks under they just sort of filled over them. yeah so I, for me I'm not sure if that's you when you take the paint off no, well, no that's, that's actually that was most that's of these is underneath, underneath yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, Well, Sam, thank you very much. I said in the previous video you're very brave, and I think you're yeah, even braver right. than I realise now <laughs> that you're not just we'll like it and not putting it in a in a skip outside. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I can't wait to the next visit, and maybe we'll well, it'll probably have even less bodywork, won't it? It'll be cut off. Yeah, won't it'll it? it'll be up. We'll, we'll we'll probably do one one panel at a time. Yeah, um, and then um, send the pictures. Yeah, yeah, and we'll come there. Great. Well, there you go. I hope you enjoyed that look around of the Zagato body shell. I probably enjoyed it more than I did, actually, looking at that. I knew this car was bad. Um, that's why I hesitated buying it. But it was the history, the fact it was that link to my past, this car I saw outside my parents' house in 1972. And part of it is actually um, to use the skills of Sam and his workshop the guys here to make it as it should be, this car. But it's actually quite enjoyable knowing you're just making this car that's going to then last forever and it's this sort of milestone in my car history to see it come back to life again and also having seen the uh, job that Dane and whites are doing on the on the engine and the subframe suspension all that on it as well just think of what it's going to be like when it's finished and that's all you've got to focus on now say so sam is taking this on i am hugely grateful to, to his skill sets and actually to see the body shell recreated is is a joy so you'll be joining us in a few more weeks. So I hope you enjoy this video. If you have, well, please keep watching. Keep subscribing. More videos coming along very soon.